Another option for contour machining is the multiple finishing passes. With this option, you can increase the number of passes around the selected contour in one operation. After selecting this option, two further fields are activated, number of finishing passes and step over. The number of finishing passes is responsible for the number of all passes in this operation. By entering for example 4, instead of one standard pass, we get four passes distant from each other by the value entered in the step over parameter. This operation occurs on many CAM systems. They use everywhere in the same, adding a few more passes so that the tool does not machine everything at once. And let's calculate this operation. OK. Of course, we can deal with it in a different way. We do one operation with an allowance on the contour, for example, 6 mm, another one with an allowance of 3 mm, and another one without an allowance. We can achieve the same effect, however, the programming time of the machining will be significantly longer. The time will also be extended when we want to edit the operation. What we have in one operation is edited in one go. What we have broken up for several different operations, we have edited separately. And editing operations is something that occurs quite often when programming machining. So, the fewer operations we have, the easier it is to make changes and lower the risk that we will make a mistake or forget something. The problem can occur when in the internal contours we add a large number of passes and the initial passes will have sharp corners. In the previous lesson we mentioned that this is not very good. We can edit this operation and use next parameter, finishing smoothing deviation, which will be helpful for us in this situation. This parameter will add rounding at the corners of the toolpath in additional passes. Where there were sharp corners at the beginning, a radius of at least the value we entered in the field finishing smoothing deviation will be added. Set this value to 2 mm and calculate the toolpath. This is another option worth remembering when you encounter sharp corners in the toolpath. Of course, we must remember that in some cases, if we enter too high a radius value, the material may remain unmachined. Let's compare this with toolpath from previous setting. Let's add another to the contour machining. Okay. Without finishing smoothing deviation with multiple finishing passes, four passes with step over three millimeters. Okay. OK, and now let's edit this and for the finishing smoothing set 2 millimeters. OK, now we have roundings in the additional passes and again let's edit this and for minimum cutting radius set 5 millimeters. OK, and now all passes have roundings in the corners. OK, again, let's edit this operation. Set finishing smoothing deviation to 0 mm. OK, and now we don't have roundings on all additional passes, only 
in this one okay I did this again set minimum cutting radius to 0 millimeters okay and now we have all corners sharp again I did this set 2 millimeters here okay we have smooth corner in additional passes I did this set for example 4 millimeters here okay and we have all corners smooth and this these options could be useful in some situation and this worth to remember this okay